Hey guys, this is Paulina and this is our first flipped classroom video this year. In this video, we're going to talk about the present simple and present continuous. We need to know when and how to use the present simple and continuous in context. That's why in this video, we're going to have a look at when we use the present simple, when we use the present continuous, how we make sentences in the present simple and continuous, and finally we'll have a look at adverbs of frequency and adverbial phrases. You ready? When do we use the present simple? Look at the two conversations above. Match the sentences in bold to the uses in the table. One is done for you as an example. So, we say, I go snowboarding every weekend and we use the present simple for habits and repeated actions. We also use it for facts or things that are usually true. Snowboarding is an expensive hobby. We use the present simple with the state verbs. I absolutely love it. And we use the present simple to describe what happens in the story of a book or a film. She has no money at the beginning of the book. So what is the function of present simple? We use it for habits and repeated actions, for facts or things that are usually true, with state verbs and to describe what happens in the story of a book or a film. We will learn more about state verbs later. So, when do we use the present continuous? Look at the next part of the conversation and match the sentences in bold to the uses in the table. So, we use the present continuous for an action happening right now or around now. I'm reading that book at the moment. For situations that are changing, it's getting cheaper because more people are doing it. And finally, with always, for things that happen often or regularly and that are usually annoying. People are always complaining. Let's have a one more look at the function of the present simple. We use it to, t to talk about habits and repeated actions, to talk about facts or things that are usually true. We use it with state verbs and to describe what happens in the story of a book or a film. We use the present continuous for actions that are happening right now or around now, for situations that are changing, and with always for things that happen often or regularly and that are usually annoying. We never use state verbs in the continuous. When something is annoying, this is something that usually makes you unhappy, so something you aren't happy about. Let's consider. Look at the next part of the conversation. 
This sentence talks about a temporary action, one that is changing, but notice that it is in the present simple, not continuous. This is because have in this context is a state verb, not an action verb. We do not use state verbs in continuous structures. They are always in the simple tenses. We can also use time expressions to describe actions happening now or around noun with state verbs in the present simple. Some verbs can be state verbs or action verbs depending on context. For example, I was thinking about Laura when she walked in. Think here is an action verb. You can imagine the speaker's brain working. I think he's German. Think is a state verb here, meaning the same as believe. Now, how do we make sentences in the present simple and continuous? Look at these parts of the conversation again and answer the questions. Look at the sentence, I go snowboarding every weekend. How do we make the sentence negative? We add don't. I don't go snowboarding every weekend. How do we make this sentence negative? I'm reading that book at the moment. We add not. I am not reading that book at the moment. Can you make these two sentences into questions using to you. Do you go snowboarding every weekend? Are you reading that book at the moment? Look at the bold sentences in the red bubble. Why does the verb start end in S? Has is the irregular present simple form of what verb? We add an S to verbs in the third person singular in the present simple. Has comes from the verb to have. Now here is a table with all the forms of the present simple and present continuous. The ber infinitive means the verb without to. So if you want to create a positive sentence in the present simple, you need the subject, the verb with no changes if it's I, you, we, they, and if it's he, she or it, we need to add an S. To create a negative, we need to use don't or doesn't. Be careful with the spelling in the third person. Depending on the verb, we can add s, es or ies. In the present continuous, we need the verb be and we add ing to the verb. So, with the present continuous, we make the negative by changing the verb to be. Yeah? With the present continuous, we make questions by inverting the subject and the verb to be. So, look at the sentence. I am reading that book at the moment. I am not snowboarding at right now. Are you reading that book at the moment? 
Open questions require a question word and a longer answer. Closed questions don't use a question word and we answer yes or no. Let's have a look now at adverbs and adverbial phrases. It is important to know where these types of words go in a sentence. Look at the adverbs and adverbial phrases and choose where you think they go in the sentence. Where do we use always? In the middle before the main verb. So I always go snowboarding. How about never? In the middle again. I never go snowboarding. In winter? Yes, you're right. It's at the, at the end of the sentence. I go snowboarding in winter. Sometimes? Yes, you're right. I sometimes go snowboarding. Most days? It appears at the end of the sentence. I go snowboarding most days. Now look at this sentence and do the same thing. Snowboarding hmm, is hmm, exciting. Hmm. Where do we use always? In the middle we say snowboarding is always exciting. Never. Snowboarding is never exciting. In winter, at the end of the sentence, snowboarding is exciting in winter. Sometimes, I'm sure you know it. And most days, at the end. You're right. So, we use the adverbs or adverbial phrases. Before the main verb, I always go snowboarding. After the verb to be, snowboarding is always expensive. Adverbs of frequency are commonly used in the present simple tense. For example, always, sometimes, never and often. Adverbial phrases we use them at the end of the sentence. I go snowboarding in winter. Adverbial phrases often tell us when we do something. For example, most days, every day, in summer, at the weekends. They can also go at the beginning of the sentence for emphasis. Most days, I go snowboarding. If we do this, we must add a comma after the adverbial phrase. Let's practice. Use the correct form of the verbs in brackets to complete the gaps. Justify your choices. Let's do the first one together. My older brother is 21. He's still, hmm, cartoons are cool. Is he, is it something that he believes in? Or is it something that he's doing right now? That's something he believes in. Yes, so that's why we say things. But he still thinks cartoons are cool. Please pause this video and think about the other answers. Let's check your answers. Life in the capital city 
is getting so expensive, so it will be impossible to live there, because this is something that is changing right now. Hmm. Is your baby sister crying? I can hear a noise. We can hear it now. It's happening now. That's why we use the present continuous. Do your grandparents live with you? Yes, but they are staying with my aunt right now. You see, your par grandparents live with you all the time. It's a regular thing, a general fact. That's why in the first sentence we use the present simple. However, at this moment, they are staying with your aunt. That's why we are using the present continuous. And one more activity. Put the adverb, adverbial phrase in brackets into the correct place in the sentence. Let's do the first one together. I speak French outside of the classroom. I rarely speak French outside of the classroom. Pause the video and think about the other answers. Let's check your answers. She works for more than 10 hours a day most days. Mary doesn't usually get home until late. And I visit my uncle. I always visit my uncle in the summer. This is the end of this video. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, we'll talk about them in class. I'll see you there. Bye!